everyone, I'm Dr. Ebony. I'm here at my clinic at OC Podiatry. I am a Hampton graduate of 2009 and I majored in biology. I am currently practicing as a podiatric medical physician and I do foot and ankle surgery. And I've been super blessed to not only be a Hampton University graduate, but to have gone through all of the matriculation through medical school and then now at a private practice and soon to be able to do private practice and what I do on the TV show. So I'm super proud of my humble beginnings at Hampton University. It is a wonderful university to graduate from. My advice to the incoming class is to work hard, play hard, make good connections, and really enjoy your four years there. And then after you graduate, maintain those connections. They're gonna be a vital portion of all of your success that you get after you graduate from Hampton. So good luck, congratulations, enjoy your four years. Legacy, that's a big word. Monet Davis of Philadelphia just threw a two-hitter game The right-handed no pitcher runs. is helping to redefine what it means to throw like a girl. Philadelphia's Taney Dragons Her fastball has been 70 miles an hour. The Little League World Series. I just want people to remember who I am as a person, not because of all the things that I've done. I'm just excited for another chapter of my life. Mo is Mo. She could go to Brigham Young and be fine. She could go to Bob Jones University and change people's mentality. Why wouldn't she want to go somewhere where the rest of the girls on the team look like her? I wanted some place felt like home, and I think I made the right decision. Hampton University is celebrating its sesquicentennial anniversary. That's 150 years as the standard of excellence in higher education. And we're also celebrating 40 years of success under the visionary leadership of University President Dr. William R. Harvey. Two remarkable milestones highlighting a legacy and legend of excellence at Hampton University. Log on to hamptonu.edu for a full calendar of exciting and memorable events. That's hamptonu.edu. Stay tuned. Hello, and welcome to Hampton University. My name is Angela Nixon Boyd, and I have the awesome privilege of serving as the Dean of Admission at what I consider to be the best university on this planet. The Office of Admission has the responsibility of sharing the Hampton experience to assist you with the college decision-making process. Today, we invite you to join us for a tour of this amazing campus that we affectionately call our home by the sea. And what better way to do that than to have some of our currently enrolled students take you around the campus. So, let's get started. You're perfectly right, Dean Boyd. We would love to show these future Hamptonians their new home by the sea. My name is Michael Adams. And my name is Celine Hamilton, and we will be your host for today. So, if you're ready, we're ready. Let's go. We're at one of my favorite spots on campus, the waterfront. This is where students come to relax and hang out with friends. And fun fact, it's Wi-Fi accessible. So yes, you can do your work here too. Next on our tour, we've arrived at the newest addition to Hampton University's campus, our Legacy Park. As you walk through Legacy Park, you will see statues of many historical figures, such as our founder, General Samuel Chapman Armstrong. And our president, Dr. William R. Harvey, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., President Barack Obama, and Rosa Parks. Now we're at Hampton University's Memorial Chapel. Chapel is non-denominational and holds services every Sunday from 11 to 12. Next, we've arrived at Hampton University's Academy Building. The Academy Building houses our Naval ROTC program as well as the William R. Harvey Leadership Institute program. The goal of the Leadership Institute program is to prepare students for leadership roles in their chosen profession. This is W.E.B. Du Bois Hall, our only co-ed residence hall on campus. It also houses the Freddie T. Davey Honors College, which offers a curriculum that enhances the regular university experience. James Hall is a newly renovated freshman male residence hall that is fully equipped with suite style living spaces. We have now arrived at the largest freshman female residence hall on campus, Virginia Cleveland Hall, also known as VC Hall. Now I gotta say, 
This is my favorite residence hall because this is where I stayed my freshman year. On the left side, you'll find traditional style rooms, while on the right side, you'll find suite style rooms. Welcome to Turner and DuPont Hall. The School of Science is home to majors such as biology, biochemistry, chemistry, computer science, cybersecurity, and physics. Hampton University School of Pharmacy offers an academic program that produces clinically astute professional pharmacists who are currently competent, who expose lifelong learning, and who use technology to their advantage and to that of their patients. The mission of Hampton University School of Pharmacy is to provide contemporary pharmaceutical education that produces highly skilled pharmacists. These pharmacists deliver quality pharmaceutical care to the people of Virginia and the nation. The Hampton University School of Pharmacy is the number one producer of African-American pharmacists in Virginia. Buckman Hall houses the School of Business, which includes finance, accounting, and the five-year MBA majors. Also, the school's two computer laboratories and the departments of business administration, management, marketing, entrepreneurial studies, and economics are housed here. The business school recently received resources from Wells Fargo and Prudential Financial to upgrade the school's electronic classrooms and to add future assets for students. We are at the Hampton University School of Engineering and Technology, better known to the students as Olin. Olin was founded in 1995 and prepares professionals to meet the challenges of the global marketplace in the built environment, transportation, and technology. Our engineering students have placed first in the National Advancing Minorities Interest in Engineering Design Challenge competition three years in a row. Hampton University was the first college in the state to offer a nursing program. Hampton University School of Nursing has been training nurses for 129 years and training baccalaureate nurses for 27 years. We are the oldest continuous baccalaureate program in the Commonwealth of Virginia. We continue to strive to be the number one producer of multicultural nurses in the nation. Rear Admiral Sylvia Trent Adams has served as the Acting Surgeon General and is now the Principal Deputy Assistant Secretary for Health in the United States of America and is a proud Hampton University School of Nursing graduate. Next, we've arrived at Armstrong Hall, which houses the School of Liberal Arts and Education, as well as the university's English, Mass Media, Foreign Language, and Music Departments. The Little Theater can also be found inside, where plays are put on each semester free of charge for our students. The Hampton University Marching Force is the largest and loudest student organization on campus. Comprised of over 200 members, the Marching Force has performed in Barack Obama's inaugural parade, the New Year's Day parade in Rome, Italy, and the Honda Battle of the Bands. The drumline has also performed in the Tournament of Roses Parade, and the band has recently been selected to perform in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. The next academic building on our tour is the Scripps Howard School of Journalism and Communication. Scripps Howard was founded in 2002 and houses the majors of Strategic Communications and Journalism. Inside, the building holds an auditorium, TV station, radio station, as well as seminar rooms. Scripps Howard is also the home of the student-affiliated radio station, WHOV-FM 88.1, so be sure to check it out on your way home. So, if your future is being a radio personality, journalist, or editor, Scripps Howard is your home. Welcome to the heart of all things student activities, the Student Center. Inside the Student Center, you'll find an indoor track, a fitness center, a movie theater, a bowling alley, as well as various food options. And from 12 to 2 on Fridays, the Student Center turns into a party. Across the street from the Student Center is our football stadium, also known as Armstrong Stadium. From new student orientation week to graduation, you will have countless memorable moments here as a Hamptonian. Hampton University is a Division I school and a proud member of the Big South Conference. Behind me is the William R. and Norma B. Harvey Library. The library has five floors, and on each floor, you're sure to find a nice and comfortable place to study. It is also equipped with a 24-hour study room and computer labs. We have now arrived at Hampton University's cafeteria. 
Hampton opened their new $25 million, 100,000 square foot cafeteria in the summer of 2012. It seats about 1,000 people and has a variety of food selections, such as a fruit bar, a salad bar, a grill station offering burgers and steaks, wraps, and pizzas, along with traditional entrees. It is also buffet style, meaning you can go back for more. Directly behind me, we have our circle of flags, also known as Ogden Circle. Each flag that you can see represents a different nationality that is represented on this campus. Now, legend has it that if at any point you walk across the grass as an undergraduate student, you won't graduate on time. So, future Hamptonians, stay off the grass. In front of Ogden Circle, we have Robert C. Ogden Hall, named after our notable Board of Trustee member. This is the main location for larger events, such as talent shows, concerts, and pageants. Welcome to Hampton University's museum, built in 1903. It is the oldest African-American museum in the country and the oldest museum in Virginia, featuring thousands of Native and African-American art. It is also open to the public, so you're always welcome to come and go as you please. We are now ending our tour at our national landmark, Emancipation Oak. This is where the Emancipation Proclamation was read to the newly freed slaves in the Hampton Roads area. Selena and I would like to thank you for joining us on this virtual tour of our home by the sea. We hope you enjoyed your experience and we look forward to seeing you real soon. Please make sure to connect with us via Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Details on the application process can be found at www.hamptonu.edu.